Young footballers across the globe dream of making it to one of the most prestigious football competitions, the World Cup. But before they can play on the biggest of stages, these athletes, particularly those in the Americas, must qualify in the CONCACAF group. The young women of the St. Lucia National Under-17 football team have been practicing rigorously for the qualifying round of competition as they look to book a place in the group stage all while balancing the on-field pursuits with their education. We have a team of competent staff centered around the team, all in an effort to ensure that we work hard and making sure that we qualify for a World Cup. And the expectations? Expectations are high, as I said. Um, we want to ensure that we qualify for a World Cup and have no doubt in my mind that one of our female teams will be the first to qualify for Women's World Cup. What are some of the challenges posed? And one of our biggest challenges so far is that uh, with the under-20 female team, most of them are writing CXC exams. So on a given day, we, we do not ha have our full quota of females. But we understand that education comes first and we support the girls. But as soon as exams are done, we know we'll have everybody back and to be able to work and gel as a cohesive unit. Central defender Shania Scott is the captain of the women's under-17 football team. CONCACAF recently placed the competing countries in the region in four pots based on the previous draw. The preparation is going great so far. Um, we're training very hard. We have, a, we have been training for a shorter time, but we are really pushing in training and we are training very hard. And what, how do you expect to perform the team? Well, in the competition, we expect to compete well. We are, our mindset is to top our group and hopefully move on to the next round. Uh, what are the teams in your group? In our group, we have Guadeloupe, Guyana, and Antigua. Uh, yeah. And certainly trying to bring the victory to St. Lucia? Yeah, we are trying to bring the victory to St. Lucia. Hopefully, you know, we'll win out our, our group stages. Although the training is grueling, the young women hope they can succeed in the qualifying round. Training has been going quite well so far. I believe that we are putting in the effort needed to be a successful team. And the coaches ahead. And also the coaches have been putting a lot of work to get us where we want to be in these qualifiers and to be able to top our group when we go out to play. I'm sure you'll be proud to bring the victory home to St. Lucia. Of course, we'll be proud to represent our country and put a number one spot on the table for us. The footballers have also commended their coaches in preparation for the championship. I think we'll, the outcome of the game will be great. We just have to keep pushing and work hard to top our group. Um, how has the preparation been so far? The preparation has been good. It's been good, but we still have a lot of work to do, but we'll get there. I think that the coaches have been doing very well with us. They are taking their time. Um, they have been doing a great job, but we just have to apply whatever they're teaching us, and I think we'll do a good job. This will be the 11th edition of the CONCACAF Women's Championship. The tournament includes three rounds, the qualifier, group stage, and knockout. Matches will be played on Wednesday, August 21st, Friday, August 23rd, and then wrapping up on Sunday, August 25th. The FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup is scheduled to be played in India between October 11th to the 30th, 2022. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.